sustainable investment, ESG investing has become a huge focus within asset managers, as well as um, looking at how they manage investments for clients. They also need to be thinking about their own operation. So they look at you know, how, how they're running their own business from an ESG perspective. So they need to look out at the firms that they do business with more broadly, but specifically, they should also be looking at the trading business because that's where the investments are made through. So I think there's you know, a lot of interest within investment managers to think not just about the investments they're making, but how they'll make those investments into the future and through the trading industry. So if I think from a trading perspective, um, from you know, th uh, thinking about brokers, exchanges, banks, technology providers, um, what do they do? How do they react to that? The idea that in the future, so much of the investments coming through that industry will be sustainable companies. How does the trading industry respond to that, that future shift? There's a large connection between how ESG influences the, the portfolio construction process and how portfolio construction feeds into portfolio implementation, which is the domain of the trading desk, obviously. ESG is beginning to reshape the, shape, the percentages of portfolios, how they look, how much of a stock is being held relative to everything else. In turn, that shapes the amount of daily volume traded in that stock. And traders need to know how much liquidity is out there in order to effectively develop their trading strategy to implement that you know, particular order. Effectively, what happens is that you have to know what stocks are gaining liquidity because they're ESG favorable and what stocks are beginning to lose liquidity because they fail ESG criteria. And that in turn is key for building up the overall performance of the portfolio.